we have uh, some things that we have to get off our chest. So good morning, you guys. No, it's about what, seven o'clock in the morning over here. And um, we're gonna do a little bit of a different video today. One of the things that have been on our mind lately is the kids, our move, and how we want to raise them and how we want them to experience life. This video is going to be a little bit about um, just how we're feeling and what we want for our children. You know, they're all individuals and they're all different. And we want to make sure that we don't just send them off all to the same school or treat them all the same. We really want to foster their individual talents. But first we have to kind of as parents know and figure out what those talents are. And it's kind of hard when they're at school all day. So VTech reached out to us about sponsoring a video of ours, which is this one. They wanted us to show the experience of exploring and learning and having fun. But it's so difficult to actually capture that, like those moments when they're absorbing like what life is kind of showing them. Mm -hmm. There's just certain moments where they just kind of get that light bulb in their heads, you know what I mean? Yeah. For example, with one of the toys that the tech has, it's a train. It's called the Gearsies Animal Train. And with that toy... I actually really like that toy yeah. as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, um, that train has like multiple choice. Uh, you can choose like different musical instruments to play at the same time you can choose exactly which one so you can select the instruments keep looking trumpet flute you and even though young one didn't know like the, the answer to these trivia questions he was able to figure them out slowly through time through the process of elimination he didn't know like what a flute was or what a piano looked like but over time you know he kept playing it and he he figured it out just by discovering it. Tiger! Tiger! And a? Hippo! Oh, how did you know that, baby? A hippo! Very good! Thank you. Whoa! Hippo! So this past week, um, the kids had a day off. Uh, Amaya, Aja, and Arizal all had a day off. So we got to experience like a little glimpse of what it would possibly be like if we did no. decide to homeschool or unschool them at home and it was just pretty it was pretty great they did play with the VTech toys a lot played all day I mean playing and playing and playing Arizona I try all day with these toys and it just got me thinking um like do they get this opportunity? Are they gonna get this when they're at school? Are they gonna be able to just indulge themselves into one thing until, you know, they feel like they have exhausted themselves for the day? You can do it!
do it. Yes, you can, Arizo. No, it's too high, and it, my shins are slippery. No, you can do it, Arizo. Mm -mm. Yes, you can. <laughs> my shins are gonna slip. No, they're not. Yes, they are. It's still slippery. See? I can do it. I think you can do it, Arizo. Huh? You can do it. Try. No, Try. Can I'll be here to help you. I was in art class and if I wanted to just spend all my time doing art in high school, I couldn't because the class was one hour long. I think it was 45 minutes. 45 minutes, minutes yeah. yeah. And then you had to just drop where you were doing and get up and go. And like, that's not even enough time to like get in that zone. It's like right the time when you start getting in that zone and then it's gone and it's taken away from you. And that's one of the things that I really regretted growing up that I didn't get to the, the time and the, I guess I didn't get the time and my mom kind of didn't know really what I was interested in. And so she didn't put the, the emphasis on those things. She knew I was interested in math. So she did put me in math stuff, but she didn't really also understand that I was really interested in art. I was really interested in dance. I think like the arts and things like that often get taken, what's the word? Like it gets taken, taken for granted. For granted, yeah, it gets taken for granted. And we don't put as much emphasis on that. And I know some of my children, I can already see that they are more interested in arts. I mean, um, I don't know how, I don't know how much I would be shaped if I was able to just completely obsess over what I wanted to obsess over mm -hmm. and like, you know, really have that organic level of passion towards something right. rather than something kind of handing me something that they were interested in yeah. and me kind of learning off of that and just mm -hmm. absorbing whatever that was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you would be like an amazing more amazing photographer I mean, more maybe amazing. I'll maybe I'll be really interested in like the the xylophone or something or, something, or yeah. you know a flute or maybe like cooking I don't know pastry chef yeah I think that that's like an important thing like I'm so scared of the kids like going into something that they don't like that they don't love for the money like what people are doing like but you that, know? that's what kind of happens when you don't really have time when you don't really have time you just kind of throw the ch children into like a elective that's just kind of random. It's like, yeah. oh, well, I used to do violin. It was pretty cool, so let's put you them in violin. It, right, yeah. Or like, you know, I heard dance was cool. All right, well, let's put them in dance. Yeah. But, you know, I guess when the children get to have their own time to figure out what they want to do, you know, naturally, just mm -hmm. by being around it or something, right. or just having the option to kind of inquire and say like, hey, this looks... This feels right, you know? So the baby, we actually don't know anything about her, like her interests. I mean, obviously she's just a baby, so we're still trying to understand her better. Can you drop one more rock into the hole? Put it in there. Two. Good, push it. And basically we put any kind of toy around her and she, you know, she enjoys it. You mm -hmm. put a ball in front of her, she'll play with it. Yeah. You put um, one of the older kids toys, she'll play with it. A cell phone, she'll play with it. So, I mean, she's still very like mendable and squishy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she likes anything. So she's been really liking the drop and go dump truck from VTech and it's just like, a fun tool, you know? I mean, later on, the kids eventually use it as, like, a little go-kart. Yeah. Then after that, they use it as rollerblades. I know, exactly. <laughs> and we have two of them, too. Yeah. We've been tying them together. They've been doing so many creative stuff with this. Like, you know, like, you get a toy and, like, the package says, okay, this, this, and that. But they've been, like, tying the dump trucks together. Like, doing really creative things with them. But I do know that the baby is. Oh. I do know that the baby is curious. So, um. <laughs> B 
babies are curious and that toy definitely feeds her curiosity. Very good, very good. So I encourage you to check out the Cut's line of infant and preschool toys. They're really great toys. We've been using them forever, years. They last forever. I know that Christmas is coming up and um, decisions need to be made about toy buying. So um, I definitely recommend that you guys check out um, the Tech's line of their toys. Yeah, we really do use them. Yeah. Like, it's not like... You guys will probably see them in every single one of our videos from now on, though. Toys are great, you know. Toys are great, especially when we got something to do. But one of the reasons why we're thinking about doing this unschooling thing is also because, like, I feel like I love... I want my kids to be outdoor people. When I was younger, we stayed outdoor all the time all the time and I just want them to explore outside because there's there's so much that you can figure out just by like walking down the street. What do you want to be when you grow up? I uh a YouTuber and a teacher. I teach her like YouTube. And how do you get how are you gonna get there? Uh I don't know what you mean. Mom? Hmm? How am I gonna I get there? I'm just okay. gonna try to help. How did you get a job? <laughs> Yo, don't go on the street! Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yes, a mom. Why do you want to be a mom? Because... I want to tell my, 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 my sisters what to do. Or whatever. But your sisters aren't going to be your children. No, I think You'll have to have your own children. Ma. But whose mother will you be? You. So you want to be my mother. You want to be my mother. You want to be me when you grow up. So that you can tell your sisters what to do. Yeah, I w when I grow up, I just want to stay here. At home? Zai, you see that side? Don't go in the tree! Young one. What do you like to do? I don't know. We're almost there. We have one more mile to go. Maybe even two. I think Belief in Fatherhood said it um, on his homeschool video, like um, the amount of time you spend driving your kids here, there, and back and forth, you know, once all that is done, you get no family time together. Quantity, he said, is quality. How much time you spend with them does become quality time. He also did say like to get that focused <clears throat> time where the kids are really taking in what what's happening mm -hmm. and you know get that focus even like when you're studying you don't really study the first hour yeah you really study maybe like the last 20 minutes you know and that's where things really soak in mm -hmm. but it's really hard to break out and do something that's against what you're used to and what everyone around you does mm -hmm. so that's another reason why we're trying to find a neighborhood where people are not so I guess straight and conservative and where there's other people around us to encourage us to think outside of a box moms who do already homeschool people who are like entrepreneurs 
Yeah, like what would really change your perspective? Like a month of traveling around the world, maybe two months with the family, or a year of private school for right. all the kids. Yeah, exactly. I wonder how many people of you guys like are in the field that you want to be in. Like you, you love what you do. Okay, you guys. So make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and on everything else that we're on. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Like this video. That really supports us and it's encouraging to us also. Thank you so much for watching and.